Hey everyone, it's Ethan Ormes back again for another video today and welcome back to the channel guys. We're here again uh, for yet another Funko video. We have five new Funkos to go through today and all of these are like brand new. So uh, yeah, well, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. We've got, uh, like I said, five pops, all TV show related. So let's do it. Uh, I don't know where to start. <laughs> uh, we'll start over here with the... Um, I was going to say the kind of the odd man out, but I guess apart from two of them, they're kind of all odd man out. Nonetheless, uh, we've got the Undertaker, a uh, classic Undertaker in his urn, the EB Games exclusive, um, of course, from WWE, which is very, very cool. A classic pop. This is so sweet. I found this not too long ago, and uh, I've seen it. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. I don't really buy that many WWE pops. Uh, I really only am looking for a CM Punk. If you have a CM Punk, please, please let me buy it. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, uh, I thought this was a pretty cool pop. Of course, like I said, classic Undertaker. Uh, I love his purple. But, uh, yeah, this is a very nice pop. I love the urn. I think it's urn, not the urn. Did I say urn earlier? I meant casket. I think I said urn. I meant casket. <laughs> Nonetheless, let's go and take a look at how much this Undertaker is currently worth. So, Undertaker here is currently worth $36, of course, a GameStop or uh, EB Games exclusive came out in 2022, so yeah, brand new, like I thought, uh, but that's pretty cool. There's uh, a couple new pops as well in this set, uh, there's an Alexa Bliss, a Becky Lynch, a Paul Heyman, a Mankind, and I think a Hulk Hogan? Um, some of them are GameStop exclusives, some of them are Walmart exclusives, so oh, there's also the DX 2-pack, uh, which is pretty cool, but, uh, oh, and a Roman Reigns, I don't think I said that, but yeah, very, very cool, we'll continue on, though, this one, that's a pretty heavy pop, which is interesting to me, um, you know what, we'll go to What If next, so we have Zombie Scarlet Witch from What If, uh, which is a pretty cool pop. This is one I pre-ordered a long time ago. Uh, I think back in August when the show was on. August or September. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty cool pop. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, a pretty cool episode as well, of course. She's kind of a big part of the plot just because the final resolution to the story. But uh, so, Zombie Scarlet Witch is currently worth $16. Uh, I can add her to the collection. Currently worth, um, yeah, $16, sorry. Came in in 2021. And uh, it is, or she is, currently available, so that's pretty cool. Again, another pretty cool pot that I'm happy to add to the collection. Like I said, I ordered this one quite some time ago, so yeah, very, very cool. But uh, we'll continue on to the second and final What If pop from today's video, Infinity Killmonger, which is a pop I have been waiting for for so fucking long. I'm really glad I was able to get my hands on this. Uh, I really, really love this pop. I love the uh, Infinity Ultron suit. I think it's awesome. I love where uh, the stones are, and it's so, so sick. Of course, Killmonger is great. Definitely one of the best villains the MCU has, uh, or I guess Marvel has, really. So, uh, yeah, I was pretty excited about this. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed Killmonger in the What If series. Uh, I love the Infinity uh, Stone storyline, and of course the Ultron storyline from storyline storyline from What If. So let's take a look at how much Killmonger is currently worth. Um, let me scan here. Let's see. I'm guessing it's probably pretty similar to the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. So uh, Infinity Killmonger here is currently worth seventeen dollars. Came out in 2021 and is also currently available. So, yeah, nothing really too surprising about that. I love how detailed this pop is, though. And I love the cape. The cape is very cool. I would really like the Blacklight Infinity Killmonger. It looks really, really cool. It's a Target exclusive. Uh, but, yeah, continuing on, we've got two more pops to go through. Um... We'll go to Stranger Things. So this is a brand new pop. I didn't even know these pops existed. And then I'd seen them at Walmart last week. Uh, so that's pretty cool. This is, of course, Eleven from Stranger Things. Uh, not my favorite character, but I just kind of like this pop the most. Steve is definitely my favorite character, though. But uh, a very cool pop. Definitely my favorite in the set. 
there was an exclusive Lucas there, a Walmart exclusive Lucas, and I think there was another exclusive there, maybe. Uh, not 100% sure about that, but nonetheless, let's take a look at how much 11 is currently worth. I feel like she is too new, and she won't have a value, which is absolutely correct. She currently has no value. Um, but yeah, I mean, brand new, of course, like I said, came out in 2022. Uh, and yeah, there, it is a pretty big set as well, to be fair. Um, so yeah, very, very cool. Definitely my favorite pop of the new pops that I've seen so far. I'm super, super pumped for season four, end of the month. We're not far away from it at all. So very, very cool. And we'll move on to the fourth and final pop of today's video, which is actually a pop for Austin, uh, which is a pretty nice one. Yennefer from The Witcher. He was pretty hyped about this. I didn't even know this pop existed as well. Uh, I'd seen it at EB Games, and uh, I picked it up immediately for him. This is a special edition, uh, or it has a special edition sticker, so it is an exclusive to somewhere. Uh, I'm just not sure. It's, it's, it's pretty rare that... EB Games or GameStop was getting um, these special edition sticker pops, but recently they've started to get exclusives uh, from other companies or other stores. So let's go and take a look at how much Yennefer is currently worth. Uh, she's actually a uh, value list as well, so she's brand, brand new. Came out earlier this year in 2022, and she's actually a box lunch uh, exclusive, which is pretty cool. I don't know if Austin has a box launch exclusive in his collection, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, he has almost the whole set uh, from this show, which is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, he'll be happy to add this to the collection from the TV show, at least. He doesn't have the OG Witcher Paws. Some of those are pretty expensive. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for today's video, guys. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know which one uh, of these pops is your favorite. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.